stuck. Want me to see if I can give you a tug? Okay. Let me try. You have a hook on the front? Yeah. 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 him out. So hey everyone. So interesting thing happened today. I was actually going out to the local police department's firing range at a meeting with them and right before I pulled in there was a semi-truck with a large tanker on the back of it that was parked off to the left. And I really didn't know why it was there. Um, you know, I thought maybe it's connected to a tank underground or something. I really had no clue. So I pull into the firing range parking lot, and while I'm sitting there, I get out of my truck and can hear the truck idling up or revving up pretty high. And I take a closer look, and I notice the truck surging forward a little bit. And I think to myself, well, this truck is stuck. So I'm by myself, and um, I usually don't like to film the person that's in the bad situation, right? So I pull up, and I ask the gentleman if he's stuck, and, and he doesn't speak perfect English, so he indicates he is, and I tell him, you know, you need some help. I'd be happy to try to help pull you out. And he nods his head and kind of looks at my truck with the look of, I don't think you're going to be able to pull me out with your truck. Um, he told me that the tank was full and, uh, and he was having a hard time to get out because he had accidentally pulled down that road, which dead ends, and he wasn't able to turn his truck around completely without going through the ditch, which got him stuck in the mud because it had just rained not even a couple hours before. Anyways, I positioned my truck, backed up a little bit, and got the strap out of my toolbox, and it's a 40,000-pound rated tow strap. So I hope that that would be enough. In most cases, it is. I haven't really ran across any situation where it hasn't been able to perform the way I need it to. Anyways, I hooked it up to the front tow hook on his truck to the back anchor point of my truck, which is a basically a large piece of steel that's in the shape of almost like an arrowhead that comes out of my receiver. Supposedly, it's rated to 10,000 pounds, but also I've never had any issue pulling anything with it. Hooked it up to his truck, put my truck in four low, and... You know, it didn't really take a lot of effort. Um, he really revved up his truck, which you'll hear in the video, to get the truck moving. But the point of this isn't necessarily what I was capable of doing, um, because quite frankly, I think any truck that has the right amount of traction and weight over the back tires and has the power and torque to get the vehicle moving would have been able to do the same thing. One of the reasons why I didn't make a big deal out of trying to record the event itself and actually capture, you know, five different angles of me pulling the truck out or try to get the driver to do it was because, A, I don't like putting people that are currently in bad situations in an embarrassing situation where I'm showing somebody's face who obviously is embarrassed by what's happened. And I don't want to put them on camera to, to capture that. I don't think it's in good taste. But also because I don't think that it was really anything special. You know, you see a lot of tug-of-war videos, and I made a video on that myself on, you know, how to win a tug-of-war, that it's not so much your truck. Your truck engine and its power gear ratio all plays a factor, but it's generally more about 
getting traction to the ground, getting weight to the ground, and just getting the person out of that initial point of where they have no traction. And in the case of this specific uh, tractor, the back tires of the truck itself were not finding any traction. So naturally he wasn't able to um, get the truck moving forward. And my whole point there was to just get the truck to a position to where it was able to get traction on its back axle so it was able to start pulling itself out. So when I show you this video, it's not one of those videos that's trying to brag about how Ford is this amazing truck um, from a power perspective, how it's basically you know a beast and it can pull anything out. It's more to show you that it doesn't really matter what modern truck you have as long as you have the weight over your axle, you have the traction, and you have the power and torque to get the truck moving. And most modern diesel pickup trucks and shoot even gas trucks have the ability to do that. Oftentimes what's lacking is the traction and the weight. So they may have a tire that just can't get the right amount of traction to the ground or they may not have enough weight over that tire to get enough traction moving forward. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Thanks, everyone.